Hello friends, I am your friend Manoj from Paris Adenium. Today we will talk about a plant whose name is Pilia Microphylla plant. Today's video is based on the Pilia Microphylla plant. In this we will tell you how you can plant Pilia Microphylla plant at home and how to get beauty in your garden from it. Before starting the video, you are requested that if you like our video then you should subscribe our channel and set the bell icon to also that the notification of our other upcoming videos can reach you first as well as the video. Like and comment and tell us how you liked our video. So let's start the video on the complete introduction and care of Pilia microphylla plant. Pilia microphylla, also commonly known as artillery plant, is an annual or short-lived perennial. It's best recognized by its many pairs of small, fleshy green leaves that give the plant an almost fern-like appearance. Tiny green flowers appear during the growing season, but they aren't very prominent. However, they do release a burst of yellow pollen, which earned the plant its common name. Artillery plants grow best in warm conditions and require bright, indirect light, along with moist but well-draining soil. Common Name Artillery Plant, Angeloid, Rockweed Botanical Name Pilia Microphylla Family Urticaceae Plant Type Herbaceous, Perennial, Annual Mature Size 6 to 12 inches Tall, 6 to 12 inches. Wide, indoor, 6 to 12 inches. Tall, 6 to 24 inches. Wide, outdoor. Sun exposure. Partial. Soil type. Moist but well-drained. Soil pH. Acidic, neutral. Bloom time. Summer. Flower color. Green. Hardiness Zones 11 to 12 Usda Native Area North America, South America Pilia Microphylla Care Here are the main care requirements for growing Pilia Microphylla. Plant in loose, well-draining soil. Choose a location with bright, indirect sun. Water regularly, but allow the soil to dry out between waterings. Fertilize lightly during the growing months if desired. Light Pilia microphylla does best with part sun conditions. It should receive plenty of bright, indirect light but too much sun will have a detrimental effect on the plant. Soil Plant Pilia microphylla in soil that is loose and well-draining. It prefers nutrient-rich soil to support its fast growth habit. Water the artillery plant has moderate watering needs. It will need to be watered regularly, especially during periods of hot, dry weather. But you shouldn't oversaturate the soil. To avoid doing so, ensure that the top 2 inches of soil is dry to the touch before watering again. Temperature and Humidity Pilia microphylla is hardy in Usda zones 11 and 12. This plant requires warm, humid conditions to thrive and will do best in climates that hover between 65 and 85 degrees. For that reason, it's sometimes used as a ground cover plant in southern regions of the United States. Fertilizer. This plant has a moderate to fast growth habit that doesn't frequently need much encouragement to flourish. Since it prefers nutrient-rich soil, you may need to fertilize with an organic compost or add a light application of well-balanced liquid or soluble fertilizer every two to four weeks during the growing season. Types of Pilia microphylla P. microphylla variegata This cultivar of the artillery plant has green and white variegated foliage. It has very similar care requirements to the conventional green variety of Pilia microphylla but in especially bright light. The variegation will turn to green and pink, which is particularly attractive. 
Propagating Pilia Microphylla It's best to propagate during the spring or summer months when the plant is actively growing and will recover more quickly. Here's how to propagate Pilia Microphylla using stem cuttings or division. To propagate by stem cuttings Gather the following supplies, clean, sharp garden snips, a small pot, and peat moss or a glass jar if you plan to start the cutting in water. Use the garden snips to cut away a stem about 4 inches long. Be sure that the cutting has several pairs of leaves. Trim away the bottom leaves. Place the cutting in water or moist peat moss with the top leaves above the water or moss. Keep the cutting in a bright area and keep it moist. Once roots have formed, the cutting is ready to be transplanted into the garden or a new pot. To propagate by root division. Using a sharp garden trowel, cut through the roots at the point you would like to divide the plant. Be sure each division has healthy foliage and its own root system. Dig around the division and lift the plant from the ground. Transplant the division into another suitable area. Common problems with Pilia microphylla. Grown in the right conditions, Pilia microphylla is generally easy to care for and fast growing. Problems with overwatering are the most common source of issues for this type of plant, so here's what to be on the lookout for. Leaves turning yellow. Sometimes the leaves of a pilia plant begin to yellow. Either too much water or too much sunlight is usually to blame. Assess your watering routine and the soil's moisture retention. Extend the time in between watering the plant and make sure you are only watering the plant when the soil is dry to the touch. If soil moisture doesn't seem to be a problem, then your plant may need more light. Transplant to a sunnier area of the garden or move a potted plant to a location that receives bright, indirect light. Browning Tips If you notice that the tips of your Pilia microphylla plant are beginning to brown, it's a sign that the plant is experiencing problems under the soil. Root rot as a result of overwatering is most likely to blame. To attempt to save the plant, you'll need to dig it up, Remove any mushy, foul-smelling roots, improve the soil drainage, and replant in fresh soil. So now you must have understood how to grow. Pilia microphyllus plant at home. If you liked this video then please share it. Stay connected for information about other such plants. Just keep these few small things in mind. Your plant will always enhance the beauty of your house and will also provide you with beneficial and pure air. This is the end of today's video. Let's meet in another video to talk about the care of another plant. Till then bye friends. Happy gardening.